gonna be a little bit different video today because uh, we are on a live set and I wanted to share some of the setups we've done today. We've been filming a corporate presentation or a corporate uh, pitch. So I wanted to sort of share how I would typically set up a corporate presentation and how it will be different from setting up uh, your typical corporate interview. And I would say that key difference from setting up an interview from a presentation is the difference between uh, where the subject is talking with someone to you if it's a presentation or if you're filming about which would be the interview if you're looking sort of off camera to the person conducting the interview and today it's been a presentation so we need to film the person talking into the camera other than that i would say your typical lighting setup for a corporate presentation is fairly equal so we have a key light that's uh, 45 40 degrees uh, in front i wanted more in the front of the face when we do a presentation more even and less moody because it's also corporate so a little bit more high key uh, it's still uh, about 40 degrees above us as well and we still try to film on the shadow side even if we are sort of filming more directly into the face the key light's going to come from from the side uh, to that we have a hair light, so it comes from the opposite of the key light, it's gonna come from above us and gonna hit your head, but uh, we need it behind us so we don't have any spill light on our forehead because it's gonna be a little bit too, uh, too warm to match sort of the ambient of, of the room we are filming in. I also have a, a sound blanket to block out both some sound, but I also use the sound blanket because we are sort of in a live environment, it's a, we are in the middle of uh, Chalmers School of Technology, so it's a lot of students walking back and forth, which is nice, but it can also be a little bit distracting to the person that actually we filmed doing their presentation. So I put up a big sound blanket just to ensure that we blocked out both the sound, but also the people moving so they wouldn't be distracted and starting to look off camera. And I think that's a good tip to think when you do a presentation in a live environment, help your subject to stay focused on the camera by, for example, blocking out the people walking. That way they can be sort of more in their bubble. Above us, we have a Sennheiser 416 to pick up the sound. So it's a shotgun microphone just above the uh, screen. And that goes into our Zoom F8N Pro. So we are uh, taking up audio in 32-bit float because uh, I think that's also really good when we are doing things uh, in a corporate environment as well as I'm actually doing this solo as usual so I prefer to shoot 32-bit float so I can sort of relax when we do the film so we don't have to sort of worry that we are peaking and stuff like that and outside of frame I also use an aperture uh, 60x so a 600x 300x and a 60x and that 60x is on the spotlight mini and I used the gobo and we sort of are shooting a little bit of pattern on the backs uh, as well just to sort of help to set the mood and give it a little bit more vibe. I'm gonna go fetch my R6 uh, just so I can use that as a mobile camera and I'm gonna flip it to show you a little bit what's happening on the set. So the client just left but we have a new one coming in just in a few minutes so I'm sort of trying to do this in one take just to ensure that uh, I sort of got to, to share with me a little bit what, what's happening sort of behind the scenes when, when you do a corporate presentation. So hold on. So here's me with the R6, so sorry, it's gonna be a little bit shaky, but uh, so here is me filming me standing where I sort of had the subject. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. There you see the two cameras that I've used to sort of film this presentation. And as you can see, the cameras are really close to each other. So on this camera, we have a 50 millimeter that's set to 2.8 today. And then we have a 100 millimeter on this camera that's uh, set to 2.8 as well. Uh, and the reason why they are so close together is that uh, we, and um, I'm coming back, so that we want to ensure that when the subject is presenting to the viewer, you, uh, we want them sort of to be uh, looking into the camera, so we need to position them very close to each other. And I think here's where presentation versus interview varies, because uh, if I were to shoot an interview, I would probably position my two tripods further away to get more angles, more separation between 
the 50 and the 100 millimeter. And I'm gonna shift it back, so we're sort of still standing on the X. Then we have a huge soft box, the Aperture 150 centimeter light doom. Above us, we have the microphone, the Sennheiser 416. Also use this to block off. Let me show you, see if I can fetch this on this camera. Here you have a light source and it's very, uh, it's very warm. I think it's uh, 3000 Kelvin. So we don't want that to sort of spill on the face of the subject. So that's why I use this to sort of block off the light. It also actually helps a little bit with the sound bouncing and position it above the microphone. If I turn to my left camera right, we have the sound blanket, then we have our sound bags, and please don't forget your sound bags. These are 10 kilos of sandbags, just to ensure that nothing's gonna tilt and hit your customer. That's gonna be really bad for your insurance, trust me. Here's the 300, it goes up to this pole. There we have another 10 kilograms of sandbag to the aperture strip box, 30, 120 that I've used as a hair light as well as rim light to sort of give some contour on. And behind us, we have sort of the practicals as well as some ambient lighting. And that's pretty much sort of the setup. I'll turn this off and kind of go back to this camera. So hold on, turn this off. I think one really big difference when sort of doing the presentation versus interview is if I'm conducting the interview, I want to make sure I keep eye contact and I keep sort of the subject in focus, so you can focus on me instead of the cameras. Otherwise, it's very typical. They're gonna look at you at the interview, but they know they're being filmed, so their eyes are gonna shift like this. Uh, so that's where it's very important to keep that focus. And I've you covered that in, in previous videos, that uh, don't fiddle with your camera and your gear, have your interview questions ready so you don't drop that focus. But it's the opposite when doing presentations, or in this case, a corporate pitch that we did today because you want that subject focused on your cameras, both cameras or in between them. So, and if you're starting moving behind the cameras or outside the cameras, you, inevitably the talent's gonna sort of start looking at you. So once you press record on your cameras, try to stay as still as possible so they can keep focus on the cameras instead of you, because they are the talent, they are what should be filmed and you should support them, not interfere with what they are doing. Key takeaway, if you summarize it, if you're doing a corporate presentation instead of doing an interview, keep your cameras much closer together so that you still sort of can have eye contact with the subject, both in the wider shot as well as the more detailed shot. I would move my, if it's corporate, I want more high key, more light, uh, less moody. I would move my key light a little bit closer to the front. So if, if your typical moody interview would be like 45 to 50 degrees to the side of the subject, I would move my key light to 45 to 40 degrees in front of, of the subject. And if mood is 45 to 50 above, I would probably turn it down a little bit. So maybe around 40 degrees above us. That gives you a more high key key light, a little bit less moody and more wrapping. And the, the bigger the sound, uh, the sound, the bigger the light source, uh, the smoother the light. So we can still afford to sort of keep a little bit of shadow. Today, when I use the sound blanket that we did today, we are both blocking sound, but we're also blocking movement so we can have the talent sort of connected with the camera. But the, the good side with that is I turn the black side of the sound, sound blanket, so we also help a little bit by sort of adding a little bit more mood to the scene. So I prefer using a shotgun. I will boom it just out of, of frame as close to the subject as possible, pointing a little bit sort of tilted with the tip towards the mouth of the subject, but a little bit in forward because sounds travel forward. So it's better to pick up sound a little bit in front of the subject rather than them moving forward and you have the microphone ending up on top of their head because that's gonna sound terrible. If you have unwanted light, use a flag and uh, block it off so you don't get any spill light in a color temperature you don't want or you can't control. And as always, try to light your scene, not just your subject and that is true as well when we do corporate presentation. 
So light the background, uh, add some practicals, move some plants. Just make sure that you set the mood and the scene and the sort of uh, call the temperature that you want. Use sandbags because you don't want anything to fall on your clients. And when we use a sandbag, we always put the long leg of our C stands towards the client. And then you put the sandbag on that long leg. We also use the Aperture 60X with the mini spotlight. I love that light, it's amazing. Also with the Gobo insert, uh, you have seen that in my YouTubes already. Uh, you can put some blinds, you can put some, some plant or shadows, and you can sort of help elevate your, your background back to elevate and light your scene, not only your subject. That's it for today. I hope you liked this type of video. If you like this more sort of in the mood, what's happening, uh, just ensure to, to uh, tell me in the comments below, put a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye.